how do you how, how do you do this? Oh no, no, that's not it. How do you um yeah, this is um how do you oh no, that that'll be no, that's not quite wrong button and that will yeah, definitely not. Um yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, that's a lot better. Thought you hit it when you just transcend the laws of physics. Oh, horrifying shit. Anyway, alright lads, it's been a little bit of a while. Been busy, we've been busy. I mean, technically I'm currently busy, but whatever, I don't want to write about Latin America. Nobody wants to write about Latin America. And that's the focus of the video today, because I need to vent. Actually, I did vent, extensively, over multiple pages, because, well you see, my patience has been steadily, like, growing thinner with Latin America. I mean, my patience wasn't, my patience wasn't exactly that broad to start with, but it's just, it's, it's like, about here now, just because the teachers and the people in the course were alright, but the course itself is balls, as I have told you multiple times, and I've, I've, I've extolled this over various mediums, but it reached boiling point the other day, because, um, we, like, we, we finished the lecture late the last time, so he starts by just talking a little bit about what, what we were talking about, and it was, you know, my, my, my standards are now so low as far as Latin America is concerned that I didn't expect anything, and, and, and it, I mean, my standards are so low that I just expect to be completely unimpressed and nonplussed by everything that's said in the lecture. But this managed to bring me out of my kind of torpor and indifference, and it was just some next level shit. The, the the title of the the lecture was um neoliberal yeah neoliberalism no <laughs> neoliberal economic policy no I just I I honestly dropped my pen in surprise and fear and just rage because not only is it just it's nothing to do with Spanish so not only is it an anthropology of course and a history course. It's not a fucking economics course. So I wrote like a two-page diatribe basically. And that's what I want to read to you right now. <coughs> Shift from protectionism and neoliberalism is the title. I just realized properly how big a fuck up this course is. We're doing economics now as well as history and anthropology. I could spend 12 weeks repeatedly punching my own face and emerge with a more profound understanding of the Spanish language, people and culture than this course offers. Just look at the title again and ask yourself how is this any in, in any way conducive to me learning Spanish. You can't justify teaching this, this just because it happened to take place in Latin America. Look at the culture part of the French course. We look at multiple texts, films and media which is in all French. Which is all in French. So we're not only immersed in the language, but we're getting a little insight into some aspect of the culture through the different mediums. Contrast this with Latin America, a culture history. And I am not joking, I am not joking. It is literally Latin America, a culture history. So like, even when the fucking course is in English, you can't get it right. In any event, Granted, we look at some uh, paintings and some songs, but only in the context of a whole lot of bullshit about Creoles and Mestizos that I have literally no need to know. I understand that there's more to the course than just the content, that we're getting transferable skills, etc. But my time could and should be spent at least in the language. The entire course is in English, so not only am I going to instantly forget the information thrown at me, but I'm spending time doing English readings to better understand the course in English, for which I have no need of a Spanish course that doesn't even enrich my knowledge of the language. The biggest effect this course has on my education is the massive fucking time sink that are the readings. I shouldn't have to waste time on readings that we generally don't talk about, thereby necessitating a rushed approach to things that I need to do in tandem with it for other courses. And the final sentence, I can't believe people are still taking notes at this point. Andrew was really butthurt. Really butthurt. Did you hear that shit? Yeah, that was bad. In any event, everything about Latin America, apart from Tadeo Barrero, is just really pissing me off at the minute. Pissing me off? Anyway, to move on to a more enlightening, interesting, entertaining, more informative topic to teach us about Spanish, I want to talk about the playlist a little bit, because both of you said that you'd be up for doing another one, which is cool. I just thought I'd get the ball rolling with my first selection. And I've chosen those uh, adorable dirty Muppet babies that we call Pavement with their song Gold Sounds off their album uh, Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain, which is fucking great. 
But anyway, I posted it on Facebook a couple of times, I think. I'm kind of obsessed, like, now and again. So you might have heard it already, but if you haven't, it's just so good. It's such a good song. I will link it down there. Because, yeah, it has my favourite lyric of all time. So drunk in the August sun And you're the kind of girl I like Because you're empty and I'm empty Which I just thought was really powerful. It blew me away completely at the time and... Yeah, I just still can't quite get over it. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now because this video has been quite long and I've got a fuckload of Spanish readings to do. You know, you know for which course. I don't want to talk about it, man. I don't, I don't even care. Whatever, it's fine. Anyway, bye.